Well, good morning. Welcome to the homestead. I am Jeff, the homestead dad. And today we got a lot of stuff going on. You can see the party tent over there. Um, we're having a first communion mass at our house um, for our daughter Lucy and then my nephew and my niece. So we've been trying to, you can see the grass is all nicely cut and I trimmed everything. Um, it's not as picked up as we, we need to put that um, other tarp garage together. So that's on the docket for today. But the main project that we have to do today is to get this pile of branches right here turned into wood chips, kind of like that pile right there. And to do that, we're gonna use the Wallenstein BX62 wood chipper. Um, my dad bought this, I don't know, probably 10 years ago. We haven't used it a ton. As you can see, it looks brand new. But let me show you guys how it works. So for those of you who don't know, tractors have what's called a PTO, power takeoff. And that's this right here. If you can see that spline right down in there, that spins. And that in turn spins this shaft, which then comes to a gearbox normally. So if it's using a mower or something like that, it changes the power from spinning this way to then spinning this way on a mower. Uh, so it would have a gearbox up here to do that. <clears throat> this one, I believe, is actually just direct drive. Um, so you can see there's a spline right there that this shaft is, goes on. And what happens is the tractor, you turn on the PTO. So this tractor has a, I believe it's a 27 horsepower diesel engine. And this knob right here engages the PTO. And the PTO will come on at low RPMs. And on the dashboard here, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's a yellow spot right there. It says 540. That's the rotations, the speed at which a typical tractor attachment runs. So when I'm running the mower behind this, I typically run it at 540 RPMs. Same thing with this. In fact, I believe it probably says it right here. Input speed, 450 RPM. So that means inside this casing right here is like a 300 pound flywheel that has chipper blades bolted onto it. So I will start the tractor up and I'll turn on the PTO at low RPMs just to get this thing running. And then I'll gradually use the throttle um, lever here to ramp it up to 540 RPMs, which will then in turn speed that up faster and then speed that up faster. And when it gets up to speed, you can hear it's loud. I've got earplugs on right now and it will whir and spin. And then what you do is you take these branches and you push them in here and it will go into the flywheel and chip up. It'll go up that shaft out the chute and it'll spray, hopefully, if I'm lucky and if I've aimed correctly, somewhere near that wood chip pile. As you might imagine, this wood chipper is no joke. Um, so the kids, while they might be helping me, they will only be handing me branches, not putting them in there. Um, it doesn't have an automatic feed. So the spinning of the flywheel kind of pulls the branches in a little bit, but it doesn't have, um, some of the big ones that you see on the back of trucks will have um, gears that actually pull the branches in. This doesn't, which is a nice safety feature. So, got my safety glasses, my gloves, got boots on. Let's fire this thing up. Put it on the ground so we don't have to worry about that. And I'll go ahead and start. Okay, 
Okay, so it is on, ready to go. I took a little break. Um, I'm changing gloves. Uh, I like these nitrile coated gloves that are like elastic for most things. They have good grip, good dexterity, um, but they have almost zero protection against thorns and sharp branches. And there's some brambles in here and um, uh, uh, Russian olive, while they don't have thorns per se like their branches start off as thorns and then grow out into branches and i got tagged right here in the the joint right there and it just stung for like four or five minutes like a bee sting almost so i'm switching over to uh these they have a little bit of elastic on the back but some leather protection on the front hopefully it helps a little bit um if all you had were bigger branches this would go a lot faster. We've got a lot of grapevine, and you can see kind of over here, the grapevine just kind of gets shot out. It doesn't, it maybe gets shredded a little bit. The branches that actually have wood get chipped up. And this actually probably works better with inch thick and up. We've got a lot of less than inch thick stuff in here, but it is what it is. Uh, I think this will do up to eight inches. It's either six or eight. I can't remember. And I think it's eight. Um, but I took a little break. It's hot out. Got some water. Going to get back after it. And hopefully get this done here pretty quickly. Looks like I'm tired. It's because I am. Um, so, got the job done. Obviously, like I said, the last time I used this, it was so much easier because we just had big branches. We'd throw them in, go grab another one. Throw it in, go grab another one. Because of all the brambles and the pickers and the bushes that don't go long, they kind of spread out, it was so much harder. And I wanted to show you guys let me turn the camera around and I'll show you guys what the mulch looks like. Put in like a big branch. This is the kind of stuff that'll come out. You know, it's not super fine. It's just big chips. But when you put little stuff through, it just kind of shreds it a little bit more. You can see where the big branches were. I put those spruce or the um, yeah spruce branches through and they just kind of, again, shredded it. So all of the long, a lot of the brambles just went straight through without uh, getting chipped up. But if you have big branches, this will be what it looks like. Now, if you have dead branches, it'll just powderize. Oh, you guys are dirty. Hold on. It just turns into powder and it's miserable because I end up breathing it and blah. So got this done. It took longer than I'd hoped it would. Got to go finish putting up that other stuff, getting ready for our um, first communion. But um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the, um, the chipper, 
let me know. I think they have a BX, or at least they used to have a BX42, which was slightly smaller, maybe four inches, and this is six inches, something along those lines. Um, this tractor, uh, I think for this, they suggest like 35 horsepower and above or 32 horsepower and above. This tractor is, I think it's 27 at the engine and 29 at the PTO and it works just fine. Now, if you put a six inch piece of oak through there, it bogs down sometimes. And if it's got knots and stuff in it, it could, you know, it could stop the, the tractor. But 95% or more of the time that we've been using this, it's been absolutely fine. So um, now that we've got it out and used it again, maybe I'll start using it more. Um, but for now, I'm heading inside. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, click the thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. Leave a comment. I would really appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. Otherwise, God bless you and your family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.